Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Side Roses. In today's video, we will look into the updates of Odoo 18 and we're gonna discuss about the amount in local currency. So, Odoo 18 allows you to manage purchase orders and invoices in your local currency. This means that you can enter and track purchase information using the most relevant currency to your business operations. And we know in our company settings, you may define the company's primary currency, which is the currency in the company's general ledger is maintained. And when creating a purchase order or the invoice, you can select a currency from the currency field. This means that uh, the currency in which the transactions will be recorded. So let's dive into the purchase module to create a quotation and let's see how the local currencies are managed. So you can click on new button and here you can fill out the details of the vendor and uh, yeah, I'm going to choose Ami Watson as my vendor and let me choose uh, the product over here. The product is just a stool and here you can see the currency is USD, which is the local currency. And you can set the unit price over here. So I'm going to set the price of the product as $69 and you can find uh, the price over here by applying the taxes. So if you want to just remove this tax, you can easily remove that and you can, here, here. You can also find a tab called alternatives. So if you want to just deal with this alternative RFQs for the same product first, you can just monitor the configuration and you just need to enable uh, the purchase alternatives over here. So this link the RFQs together and compare them. Okay, now let's move on to the orders and under the orders, you can choose the uh, purchase order that you were dealing with and now we can just create the alternative. So I'm going to create the alternative for this and here you can choose the vendor. So we just need to copy the same product whenever we just choose the um, yeah, uh, alternative uh, over here. So I'm going to choose the alternative vendor as Anita Oliver and uh, uh, I'm going to create the alternative over here. So uh, here you can see we can just change the currency. So I'm going to choose the currency as uh, yeah. A80 and here you can also set the price so I'll be setting the price as uh, 50 and uh, which is dirham and if you want to apply the tax you can apply that or else you can just remove that so as you just uh, yeah save this here you would be able to find that uh, currently we have multiple RFQs from that we can just make the comparisons and all so here you can see uh, Anita Oliver um, um, is the vendor from uh, uh, Dubai or United um, yeah, Emirates and uh, you can see the RFQ is just managed in Durham and you can also find the company total and here you can see Amy Watson is a vendor from uh, um, United States or uh, someone who managed their RFQ in USD and you can also find uh, the yeah currency over here which is $69 and here you can also find the OTD and uh, we can also easily get the exchange rates. So Odoo can automatically fetch the exchange rate from um, online sources and you can configure the preferred source update frequency in the general settings and on. And this alternatively you can also um, provide the manual uh, I mean manually provide the exchange rate uh, in the currency field and all. Uh, while creating the purchase order or the invoices. So um, now let me uh, select one of the yeah RFQ. So you can just click on confirm RFQ. So as you just try to confirm the RFQ, uh, here you can see currently we are just going to choose Ami Watson uh, RFQ. So if you want to keep the alternative, you can just go with that or you can just cancel the alternative. So I would like to go with the um, yeah RFQ of Anita Oliver and let me just choose that by keeping alternative over here. So here you can see that currently we have just confirmed the RFQ of Anita Oliver and you can also find uh, all other details. Now we just need to receive the item into our stock and afterwards we have to provide or create the invoice or bill. So before the creation we just need to set the Loader serial numbers, I'm going to set it as 001. Uh, I mean, 001, and let me save that. 
Later on, you can just click on validate and here you can see we have just received the item into our stock and um, yeah, let's move on and uh, let's create the bill. So you can just choose create bill by setting the details such as the bill date, which is mandatory and you can just confirm uh, the bill and later on you can just choose pay in order to register the payment. So uh, currently it's in payment state and after reconciliation the payment will be moving to the bank. Now we can also get the reporting and analysis that means Odo provides a report that can be filtered by currency. This allows you to analyze uh, your purchase based on currencies used in each transaction. So for that you can just dive into the accounting module and in the accounting module you can go to the reporting and let's show the reporting that is unrealized currency gains or losses and the system can track the currency gains or losses that arises from the exchange rate fluctuations and this help you to understand the impact of the currency exchange on your business profitability. So here you can find uh, uh, the yeah uh, filtrations uh, over here and you can also make comparison with same period or ascending or descending anything and also you can find the exchange rates over here uh, with different currencies and uh, if you want to find the post entries or draft, draft entries you can also get that and let me unfold this and here you can find the bill that is recently created uh, which means uh, the balance in the foreign currency as well as the balance at the operation rate and the balance at current rate is also shown over here. So that's all how we just uh, manage with the amount in local currency in ODO 18 purchase module and that's all for today. Thank you for watching the video.